Hi, I'm Michael Colton, and this is the Portable STR. So, what does the Portable STR do anyway? Uh, first and foremost, it's a transceiver. So it can receive from pretty much from zero up to about 30 megahertz. Um, you can listen to the whole shortwave band and all of the HF ham radio bands. Um, it's able to transmit back on those frequencies. You can listen to and transmit any mode you want as long as someone's written the code for it. So the entire radio is operated with a single knob. The way you do it is if you push and turn, you can see on the screen the red highlighted selection changes. Then if you release and turn, you can change that setting. Um, what we've got currently is a mode selection, so you can choose AM or sideband, um, the main frequency readout that determines the center frequency, and the bandpass filter. The bandpass filter lets you decide what frequencies you actually want to hear. Um, so for example, if there's a lot of Morse code activity and you want to zero in on a single signal, you can adjust the filter just to allow that part through. Um, you can see that little white bar to the underneath the arrow lets you lets you visualize what frequencies you're going to hear. So you can see if I widen the filter, that bar gets longer. Um, the waterfall display here shows you what activity is happening. So right now we can see that there's some Morse code activity happening right on the station we're listening to, um, as well as there was something up here. Um, so if I turn on the audio, you can hear what it sounds like. It's got an antenna analyzer. The reason I put this in here is I figure when you're out in the field, you may not have the luxury of bringing whatever antenna you want. This way you can hook up what you've got, you can analyze it, and you can determine what frequencies are going to work well. One of the exciting things in recent ham radio is these really low power digital transmission modes. A lot of them work by sending data very slowly, but they're able to send it at extremely low power levels and still be received accurately from enormous distances. So one of the things I thought would be really cool would be to include a GPS in the PSDR. That way, if you're ever out in the wilderness and there's some sort of emergency, the PSDR can grab its location and use these new digital modes to transmit an emergency distress call. So a while ago, Mike Stish wrote an article about why we should try open source. Um, and the Hackaday Prize is really about open source design. So this is the first time I'm trying it. I decided to go all in um, and open source everything. Also, I'm trying to to come up with a really good assembly document. Um, I've got a picture of it here. Um, I'll include a link to it. Um, basically, it breaks the circuit down in blocks. Shows the schematic, shows how the board's assembled, and then it has some of my design notes, as well as a description of what that part of the circuit does. Um, my hope is that as people build the portable STR, that they'll learn a little bit more about how radio works. The portable STR will be able to listen to and transmit to stations all around the world. Um, HF signals reflect off the atmosphere, so you're able to bounce the signal to pretty much anywhere. Um, and in my opinion, that makes this a pretty connected device. No matter where you are, you'll be able to talk to someone else, listen to other transmissions. Um, in addition, it's got a USB port that, um, that would give it a lot of flexibility. If someone wants to extend this to work on its own, um, make it remotely operatable, um, things like that, that capability exists. I tried to make it so that the whole thing would fit into a pretty small size. Um, all the connectors would come out one side, and all the controls, including the, um, the control knob and the Morse code key, would be on the right. Sorry, lefties. Um, it also includes provisions for both the mechanical Morse code key and a touch-sensitive one. So, I want to give you just a quick teardown so you can see what's on here. Uh, we'll start at the back. So, first we've got the battery, of course. Uh, there's a micro SD slot, the GPS receiver, um, a nice little switching regulator, We've got the uh, direct digital synthesis frequency synthesizers, um, a few anti-aliasing filters, um, and a lot of the RF section. Um, on the front, we've got the GPS antenna, uh, the microphone and preamplifiers, cool little waterproof speaker. Um, I've got the display plugged in with these low profile pins so it can be removed. Um, and that reveals the microcontroller, the VNA chip, and a bunch of the RF switching circuitry. In the next revision, a few things I might change is if I use bottom entry headers for the screen, I bet I can get it a lot lower. And if I were to mount the encoder on its side, um, I'm pretty sure I could shave a quarter inch off the enclosure size. I made the portable SDR because this is the kind of radio I want. Um, I waited, I've, I've been following what other innovations have been done in the radio industry and nothing like this has come along. So I decided I had to do it myself.